Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to write a uh, genuine test cases using Mockito, right? So here we uh, we are using genuine five with Mockito, and uh, uh, we will consider the different scenario. Like uh, we can have a, a method with some return type, method with uh, non void. Uh, return uh, non void and void uh, return type and we'll take a different scenario when method throws some exception and how we can how we can write a different test cases all right using JUnit with Mokito yeah so I have already created this project and if I can show you I have already added this dependency Mokito Jupyter Mokito is Jupyter, Jupyter right so this basically uh, add Mokito as well as JUnit Jupyter API in my class path, right? And let me show you the source code. This is an interface which has two methods add as well as get meaning. And I have a class is called word dictionary which implements this interface. And I have a constructor there. I have initialized this uh, map, right? And I have a add method where I can send, I can, I can call this method uh, by putting this word and corresponding meaning. So that this word will be inserted into this map with a word as a key and meaning as a value and uh, we can query this word map by passing the word and we can get the corresponding meaning so this is the so resource for that i would like to write general test cases right and we'll consider different test case a different or uh, exception exceptional condition so exceptional condition for that my test method does not throw any exception but these things i have mocked up through mock youtube right so let me show you so i have written four to five test cases and have considered uh, all the exceptional scenarios so first test cases so uh, when we call a uh, uh, non void method uh, if you look at the get meaning it's a non void return type right that let's say while calling this method let's say this method throws some exception then how we can handle so uh, throwing exception stuff I have mocked through mock you so uh, here you can see I have called a mock method by passing uh, a dictionary uh, word dictionary so this gives us the mock it mocked object right or you can say proxy object and here I am instructing to the mock uh, when you call get meaning by passing any string then throws exception what kind of exception i'm expecting null pointer exception right and i am calling now uh get meaning by passing a word is called ocean right so of course this is the basically expect expectation we have uh, set it through a mock e2 so when we call this method right get meaning by passing word then definitely this is going to throw null point exception so control will go to the exception block and here we can check whether uh, this exception is an instance of null point or not if that is the case that means our test case is going to pass right so guys as i am using uh, genuit 5 or genuit jupyter so that's the way to write the test case but if you are dealing with the genuit uh, prior version like genuit 3 or genuit 4 then here you can give rather than checking any exceptional uh, sorry exceptional block what you can you can do in add test in here you can pass some parameter from JUnit 5 onwards uh, you cannot pass any parameter but if you are dealing with the JUnit 3 or 4 then here you can write expected 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 equals to null pointer exception dot class something like this and you are done you don't need to write this except, exceptional cache so so if your test case uh, basically throws null pointer exception while calling this method then your test case will be passed but JUnit 5 does not allow to pass any parameter along with add test so JUnit 5 onwards we have to write uh, test cases uh, like method is throwing some exception then something like this right so this is completely understood now second use case what I have taken uh, here I am calling a method uh, which is having a return type as void if you look at the add method return type is void right 
now what I am instructing so I have created mock object again like first test case and here I am instructing to the Mokito do throw exception is called illegal state exception uh, when when uh, on this mocked object if someone is calling add method with any string any two any 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 uh, basically first and second argument as a string right now in assert throws I am comparing assert throws I am using which takes two parameter first is the class and second is the executable so here I am expecting uh, uh, I am expecting uh, when somebody calls this method right which I have written as a executor right if you look at the so return type of this guy is uh, basically a uh, void right if you look into here throws this is executable executable is a functional interface I can write lambda expression for this right and that's the reason I have written lambda expression for this add method right so if someone calling this method then I'm expecting illegal state exceptions should occur and that already I have set it by using mock e2 right now next uh, huge case what I have taken method name you can see non uh, non void that should be the non void sorry guys uh, uh, no 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 it's, it's a void right method type would be void i'd say right okay so void method this is a void method void method throwing illegal state exception so so you, here you can see i'm instructed again throw illegal illegal state exception there i'm passing message as well right and when uh, someone is calling on this mocked object someone is calling add method right so illegal state exception should occur and that i'm checking in the in this assert throw and uh, finally i would like to so almost these two test cases are almost similar right not a problem so here if i look into the last uh, use case what i am going to uh, basically uh, do over here here you can even uh, you can configure a spy to throw an exception uh, the same way what we did for mock right so here I have created an object of a uh, word dictionary and just I got the spy object of uh, uh, a spy object right uh, out of this uh, object right so now I'm instructing to the Mokito if someone is calling get meaning method by passing this input uh, input as empty string then uh, illegal state exception has to throw with this message right and intentionally I'm calling uh, get meaning so as you know when you call uh, uh, any method of uh, uh, a spy object that actual method is going to invoke right but if you call uh, any method on mocked object then actual method is not going to call that thing you have to keep in mind right so when somebody calls this method then definitely we are expecting to arise some exception what is nothing but the illegal argument exception so control will go to the exception block and here we can check if is the instance of illegal argument exception and as well as we can extract the message from e whatever message we are setting over here and that message also compare into assert equals so assert equals we can we can pass uh, expected argument and actual argument so expected argument is nothing but this message and actual argument we can extract from the this exception if both the assertions pass that means our test case will be passed so let me show you by running this test case so I'm going to run entire classes and here this message is coming because uh, one of the catch block I have given this message here but if I look into the all the test cases all the test cases has to pass so here you can see all the test cases has been passed right so guys as far as uh, this source code concerned I will post this source code on my blog kkjavatitals.com and exception and uh, source link you, you can get from the video description guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial